everybody, it must be another week has passed because it's time to look back at X-Crawl Classics yet again. I am Michael Curtis, and with me is the creator of X-Crawl, Mr. Brendan LaSalle. And we are here I'm... to talk to you about the all the new character classes which appear in X-Crawl Classics. So uh, there are a lot of these, actually more than are in the original DCC rules. We are looking at 10 character classes, so we'll just get rolling, starting with A, the athlete. Brendan, <laughs> what's the deal with the athlete? <laughs> the athlete is a master grappler. He's a They're a, a paragon of physical perfection. They get bonuses to any kind of athletic skill check, and they are very adept at wrestling creatures that are bigger than they are. And, and they can also uh, uh, make a grapple critical, which is a lot of fun. they got their own table. You can get a dragon in a headlock, and you can't do that in some other fantasy games out there. So once Absolutely. they have dragon in the headlock, they ask for their buddy, the blaster, to step in. What does the blaster roll in yeah. X-Roll? Uh, the blaster is an arcane spellcaster with a unique way of weaving spell energies out of the air. Um, they, it, it's a random process, so they get a spell weaver die that they uh, use as part of their spell check. Um, all of their spells, they're, are less, they're less powerful than DCC wizard spells, but they're more tactical and a lot of fun. All right, so now you we have we have the blaster helping out, and we have the dragon ahead work. Now it's time to get up oh. with the brawler. So that's right. The brawler is adept at hitting anything with anything. These are multidisciplinary fighters who get a free um, un unarmed attack every round. They uh, make a regular attack in melee in, um, and uh, they're super tough and a ton of fun to play. All right. Once you have the brawler in there, now it is time because you can't have a good fight without musical no. company. <laughs> no, you can't. You need your jammer. Your jammer is your hype man. Your jammer is a uh, is adept at disrespecting your foes and lionizing his allies. Here, he's a buffer and debuffer with some special uh, martial arts skills uh, that are, are, are worked in. Ton of fun to play. So for those of you who dislike the bard, Here's here's one that here's a character class that feels that that's actually fun to play. No. Yeah. <laughs> and those of you who love playing bards, I think you're gonna love the jammer even more. Yeah. All right. After the jammer, <laughs> we have the messenger. And the messenger is not a person on a bike. A messenger no. is uh, something else. <laughs> no, yeah, the so the messenger is a bloodline cleric. This is a, essentially like a late, 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 late demi <laughs> cat who has healing abilities and uh has the ability. <laughs> And has cats uh, destroying things in their office while they're doing stuff. Uh, but the messenger, he's really, he's more of a holy warrior than a cleric. He gets uh, uh, holy damage against creatures that are evil to his uh, beliefs. And uh, he can heal and he can uh, summon his deity's, you know, weapon uh, if he needs one in a brawl. And uh, and um, uh, the majority of the messengers are uh, they follow one of the Greco-Roman gods, uh, but there are mm -hmm. uh, other there are other deities in uh, X World. So. Absolutely. Right, so you're so we, now that we have the power of the divine, we have the specialist, and the specialist is not somebody you go see at the doctor's. It is something who actually actually after you, the specialist sees you, you might need to go to the doctor because the specialist does what, Brendan. <laughs> The specialist, he's a stealthy warrior. They're, they are locks and trap masters. The specialist, the, the, so the special, they're called the specialist because there are a lot of different specialties. You can play a scout or an acrobat or a, um, a commando. Um, there are, you know, all of these different breakdowns that all approach the art of being a stealthy presence on the battlefield just a little bit differently. Gives you a lot of varietals uh, for a lot of fun. So you have all sorts of, and, uh, and, yep. Uh, and X Roll introduces actually has kind of a racial uh, racial specialist, uh, you know, which is which we do in DCC race as class. And we're going to get that in a second. But if you are an elf, you can play an elf trickster rather than just a straight elf or a half orc slayer or a halfling rogue. All right, and they mm -hmm. as as with that, everybody excels at certain things and uh, not so much at other things. So you know, always yeah. good look at the, at the tables to see what's going up for because now always. we're the, the demi human section beginning with the dwarf. So if you're not a dwarf specialist, what does the dwarf do there? For <laughs> Your dwarf is a mighty frontline fighter. He is adept with the shield and the uh, and you know, a one handed weapon. The dwarf really has remained unchanged over thousands of years. So if you're just coming to this to it for the first time and you just want to get your toes wet or wouldn't be the worst choice for you it's gonna feel real familiar all right and you have the gnome and this is the first time we actually have a gnome in uh in dcc stuff so, so what does the gnome do and just yeah 
The gnome's going to feel entirely unfamiliar. So the gnome is a minor spellcaster with some illusion and trickery spells, um, but they're also really adept at getting under their opponent's skin. The uh, gnome can um, uh, provoke, they can draw aggro from players, from monsters, in order to get a monster off one of your allies. So you, you, using that ability correctly, you can absolutely disrupt your enemy's plans. And, uh, and with their illusion and, um, you know, abilities uh they're very good at causing chaos on the battlefield <laughs> so uh so and like some players actually have a reason to do so you know in the game not just because they just like causing chaos. yeah not just because <laughs> half elves half elves so what what do the roles of the half elves play in x world sure so the half elf is a generalist rather than a specialist they have a little bit of spell casting ability they're decent fighters they are decently stealthy and can uh, uh, actually get a backstab and also um they're you know being rejected by both of their you know heritages they are very good at uh, manipulating social situations so they get a charisma die that allows them to add to their skill checks when they're uh, negotiating making friends or intimidating people they are, they are the face of the group. You want, you want yourselves to have a good half-elf agent, you know, all right. Mm -hmm. And uh, last but not least, we have the half-orc. A half-orc. I love me some half-orcs. So the half-orc is, he's a, another frontline fighter. His specialty, other than being tough as nails and very hard to kill, is the wild attack. The half-orc can make a reckless uh, attack, allowing him to get a second uh, go at a monster that has just taken a swing at them. So if you if you're willing to give your opponent a free shot, then you'll get a free shot on them with a higher chance to crit. If you are that, that reckless warrior type that just can't wait to you know see blood on the on the on the battlefield, I can't recommend the half orc enough. All right. Well, so those are the character classes in X Crawl, and as you can say, there's a, a there's a lot which is familiar. But there is a lot which are unique, so uh, we hardly guarantee you to go out there and, first of all, go to Reno, <laughs> the unofficial capital of x -Crawl. You know, let's eat close as near and dear to our hearts and roll yourself a and uh and then just, just, just go to town. All right. So... That's it. So uh, 10 new character classes, as of, as we've uh, mentioned before, suitable for importing into any powered by DCC game. So even if you're not playing, D if, if you're not planning, planning on playing a crawl, you're wrong. But the, if you get a copy of the book, because it's more is useful to any sort of, you know, X, uh, DCC, MCC whatsoever. So, all right. So those are the character classes. And uh, I think we uh, I think that's enough for this 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 week. I think so. All right. Thank so you so much. We will be back soon with yet more information about X-Crawl. So we are out of here.